Now, now that's clear. Okay. This is, let's take a look at Alcoa. Now, this is the day's movement on Alcoa on Google, right? Here's the five day movement on Alcoa. Here's the one month movement on Alcoa. Here's the six month movement on Alcoa. Here's the one year movement on Alcoa, which would be the same as a year to date. Why why TD is the year to date, right? Here and it's up 160%. Okay. And here's the five year movement on Alcoa. And if you actually went up like a year and a half, Alcoa is up much more than uh, 150%. It's actually up a thousand percent. Okay, because it's, it's up 10 times its value. Okay, so that's the movement Alcoa. And you can take a look at, you know, this chart here and it uh, for me, hey, come on. Come, come, there we go. And I put the metrics on here and the metrics you should be looking at to see what you want to do. Now, if you look at Alcoa right now, if you were betting, you might decide that the stock is going to go up higher or you might decide that the stock is going to go lower. I can tell you that family right now has puts on Alcoa. Okay. So family is betting that the stock is going to go down. Now, what are these bets like? So, for example, Alcoa is a time sensitive thing, right? Let me do a little refresh here. Give you the most recent price. You do a real refresh. This is Q trade. And Alcoa is up 62 cents today, but Alcoa was down actually today as well, right? So you can go to overview and see what the stock has done over just today, right? It opened at 59.16. It went right here, 59.16, and it went as low as 58.70. Okay, and right now it's trading at 59. Oops, I'll bring it down 59, uh, 59.84. Right, so there's been an over a dollar fluctuation just today on Alcoa, right? And it gives you some other metrics. It's a PE of 13.88. Um, it's got a beta of 2.74. Beta is how you know movement, uh, yearly high. It's basically sitting at a yearly high. Yesterday was at the yearly, two days ago was at a yearly high and whatnot, right? It's got the 50 day moving average, uh, volume, and all that jazz you can take a look at, right? You can also come on this and click on, you know, the chart. And on this, you see the fluctuation. And family has already saved some. Uh, metrics on here just to be able to see what's going on and i like the view here because it's, it's cleaner and the light blue line that you see here is the 50-day moving average this is the stock price right here this is the 200-day moving average this is the relative strength right so momentum behind it this is a williams uh indicator this is this is momentum but that's the relative strength and here's the uh I call this McDonald's, it's not McDonald's, MACD indicator, right? And usually when, as far as I see it, when a stock does this, it could continue to have the separation, but you're looking for a rollover of the black line into the red line. And that sort of gives you an indication that the stock might be under pressure. Uh, okay. And you can go into the options and with the options, because it's a time sensitive thing, every friday options expire right and this is let me just check the chat make sure there's no questions here what's the trajectory for q1 the trajectory for q1 are you um referring to beat uh their financials is that what you're asking about and while you type that out uh just talking about the time sensitivity of this thing this is q4 2021 and then this is the last friday of the year right that these options are going to be traded and you can take a look at here what you see here in the light green up here okay the calls by the way the calls are on this side on the left side of the graph 
and the puts are on the right side of the graph for me anyway if you're seeing it uh, it might be flipped around on your screen right so on this side over here these guys on this side doop, these are the calls and on this side these are the puts right now these calls and puts expire today right that's why you're seeing a huge fluctuation here right because when the stock was down like for example the value of the puts for alcoa strike price of 60 and the strike price of 60 means you're allowed to sell alcoa at 60 dollars okay today and if the stock is a lot lower all of that is the premium you're collecting money on it right so if the stock all of a sudden drops to 55 dollars today right you just made five dollars or four dollars and four dollars and 68 cents if you are able to buy alcoa options the put at 32 cents right so the difference you would pay you're allowed to sell it at sixty dollars and if the stock is sitting at you're allowed to sell it at fifty dollars and the stock is sitting at 55 that's a five dollar money banked right now what you see here is the calls which is you have the right to buy alcoa at sixty dollars the calls are even worth less because right now alcoa is trading less than sixty dollars so if alcoa goes up to 65 for example right and if you're able to buy the call at 18 cents then you made four dollars and 82 cents profit on that deal if it goes up to 65 which is not going to do right now some people might might be selling these calls at if you can get it for People are willing to sell it for 21 cent, right? At 60 strike price, right? So that means the people selling these calls at 21 cents, right? Are betting that Alcoa is not going to close at 60, uh, above $60 and 42 cents because the 21 cents is the premium that they're paying for it, which is how many hours left four and a half hours left in the trading day right so it's it's sort of playing fluctuations right now that's today the price on it right quarter one for the market uh you know what i don't know what it is i don't know what it is it's fairly the market is expecting it to be fairly high uh financials we can go to financials i usually don't look at what the expectation is uh, what they're expecting i go with what i'm expecting right some people if they're gonna miss their numbers or they're gonna mi make their numbers is that what you're asking beat I thought you were uh, more into crypto uh, I'm not trading crypto no beat uh, for multiple reasons okay now this thing expires today these puts and calls calls and puts now you can use different uh, websites to get the same information here is uh yahoo finance right and this is the view of uh straddle okay which is sort of the same view as q trade that has it here right which is you can take a look at it and here's the straddle uh trades going through same thing we're talking about right here right here's the again on this side is the calls and on this side is the puts and this isn't in real time the Q trade right now would be in real time let's do a little refresh on it let's see what we get okay so a little refresh it says the last traded was 15 cents and the last traded was 36 cents right if you look at Yahoo it says the last traded was 43 cents right and this is 17 cents for the call and 43 cents for the put right so if you were holding the puts on alcoa at 60 expiring today and you didn't sell earlier today you lost 60 you lost 60 percent of your value if you were holding the calls and it would suck if you're holding the calls you would have already lost 43 uh, percent of 
your bet right now one thing you have to consider this number here let's take a look at this thing this is how much was traded today okay and this is the open interest this guy's here okay open interest now there's one thing that happens with options is usually there's a saying that says the market likes to inflict the most amount of pain uh, to a trader so the market usually likes to close I don't want to say usually but the market a stock usually not usually but ten, sometimes tends to close at a strike price where there's been the most amount of activity puts and calls open interest right For in this case it's not because there's nine thousand three hundred uh, calls open interest on Alcoa at sixty five dollars strike price right so it's right now going to be closing lower than where the most amount of activity was on it now we didn't take a look at this to see how much of that was traded yesterday okay I'm just going to read a comment uh, I am asking what you think will happen to the market next year oh what are you think I'm gonna uh, beat uh, I mentioned this earlier on uh, right now family about 50% of uh, families uh, portfolio is in options 95% of that is in puts so about 45% or 90% is in puts so 45% of the options play of the play in the family's portfolio is puts so the family is betting that the market is gonna have a serious hiccup that's our take okay sleepy wave chicho do you have any advice on a resource to learn how to trade um i've been trying to find on youtube but the finance gurus on there are terrible in my humble opinion just like i don't align with their values and morals it's hard to find a stock trader with a uh conscious conscious yeah uh the market doesn't uh uh wall street doesn't have a conscience okay market does not have a conscience market uh will be happy to make money on a billion people dying just as much as he will be happy to make money on one person living right it, it's a market doesn't care for us our family there is a conscience at play here okay so for example uh, the family has played puts on moderna but even when moderna is oversold the family does not buy calls on moderna because we don't want to make money on people dying okay but we can we've talked about moderna our current events live streams right beat you moving like that i like your style thanks Pete. why do you think the market will dump what's the particular reason uh, multiple reasons multiple reasons um currency crises um national currency crisis one uh supply chain being broken is another um draconian fascistic governments in power is being another resistance rising up is being another uh, possible wars a lot a lot and the market is being completely overvalued we're in bubble territory up the yin yang to say the least right so this is one place you can look at here's the yahoo one you can look at this as well right remember this doesn't give it to you in real time the the value of alcoa is in real time switching it should be anyway uh, but it doesn't update the options in real time and you can change the view on the yahoo uh, uh, view instead of straddle you can look at it in list position and in list position basically gives you all the call options in one location above and all the put options below options chain right now and then you can go to here's the nasdaq you can look at the same thing straddling uh the straddle look which is basically uh here let's do a little refresh on this see what the latest uh price is 
and yeah it gives you the price is up 55 cents and alcoa right now it went down in price so previously here the option oh this one we did it here we'll do it on this one uh, for example alcoa put option expiring today was trading at 36 cents right right here right we didn't do a refresh on this but you know it was been sitting here for like 30 minutes right and alcoa was up at a was up uh, we might have done did we do a refresh i don't know but basically it was up let's say 60 cents right so the put option was trading at 36 cents right now alcoa is up uh 55 cents and the put option is now at trading at 49 cents right so the value of the put option went up because uh oh come on i clicked on it so it took me here so the value of the put option went up because the stock went down right and over here you're seeing the same thing the value of the put option was 49 cents so this thing here let's let's do a little refresh here so it's alcohol is up 55 cents right let's do a little refresh hopefully it's changed bring it should be changing in real time but no it's still at 55 well we'll come back to this right so keep those numbers in mind and one thing you need to consider as well alcoa price because it's aluminum mining right fluctuate based on the price of aluminum so if you're trading something you really want to take a look at the underlying uh, metrics that sort of govern what the price of the stock is right so if you take a look at this thing aluminum prices peaked uh, in October at three thousand one hundred three thousand two hundred dollars right but if you look at the alcohol price okay hey okay it's gotta fluctuate a little bit so if you look at the price here's the october price alcohol price peaking here at 57 dollars right aluminum prices right now are sitting at 2800 right so it's about 300 dollars less than when aluminum prices peaked but alcoa stock is actually sitting higher than the previous peak right so take that whichever way you want okay so that's sort of the general gist of taking a look at these things to a certain degree right 